Hey guys, how's it going? F8 Alpha here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in Mortal of Tanks and we're having a look at the Polish Tier 6 tank, which is the first Polish tank in the game. Of course, we are talking about the Poodle. So, there are three bundles in the premium shop that are available for 24 hours only. So let's go ahead and get into it here and see what these bundles are all about. The first bundle, the Poodle bundle, the basic bundle, is the tank in a garage slot and that is $18.99. The second bundle is the loaded bundle and that is $29.99 and that comes with, of course, the tank, garage slot, coated optics, improved ventilation, and a gun rammer. In addition to 1,200 gold and a fully trained zero skill crew with brothers in arms, which is very helpful. The third bundle is $39.99. And of course you get the tank, a garage slot, coated optics, ventilation, a medium gun rammer, 2,500 gold. Of course you get that zero point crew. You also get 30 personal reserves of plus 200 crew XP and a multiplier of five for the first 15 wins in this tank, which is very handy. And additionally there is one more bundle and that is called the Poodle Has Arrived Bundle. It is $49.99. And of course you get the tank, you get a garage slot, coated optics, improved ventilation, medium, medium gun rammer, you get 30 personal reserves of uh, plus 50 credits for one hour, you get 30 personal reserves of plus 300 crew XP, uh, 30 personal reserves for a plus 100 XP for an hour, the multiplier of 5 XP for the first 30 wins, and of course that 0 0.5 crew but what are these bundles really giving you what is this tank all about let's go ahead and get into that i have set up a comparison here so we can go ahead and see exactly what the poodle has to offer us so for this comparison it is going to be a bit of a extensive comparison and i have basically lined up the thunderbolt the skonda t40 the strv 4257 as all these tanks are available in the premium shop or will be available in the premium shop uh, with that said the Thunderbolt is coming later on this month so that's why it is in this comparison also I have of course the Poodle and the VK in this comparison so let's go ahead and get into it here and when it comes to firepower the Poodle has 2011 DPM the Thunderbolt has 1998 DPM the Skonda T40 has 1995 DPM the STRV has 1,687, and of course the VK 3002M has 2,011 DPM. Let's go ahead and move forward to penetration. The Poodle and the VK have a joint best penetration as comparison of 150, followed by the STRV, which has 148. The Skonda is next at 145, and lastly we have the Thunderbolt at 128 millimeters of penetration. Let's go ahead and look at the damage, the alpha damage per shot. The Poodle and the VK have 135 alpha damage per shot. The Thunderbolt has 115. The Skonda T40 has 220, and the STRV has 150 alpha damage per shot. The Poodle and the VK have a joint rate of fire of 14.9 the thunderbolt has a 17.3 the skonda has a 9.0 and the strv has 11.2 rate of fire a quick note in the fire power category would be the ammo capacity the poodle has the best ammo capacity at 81 pieces of ammunition that it can carry Meaning you can load as many premium shells, standard shells, and HE shells as your heart desires, which is a good thing as this tank does see tier 8s. Let's go ahead and move forward to the gun handling. The VK and the Poodle have a 2.2 second aim time. The Thunderbolt has a 2.0 second aim time. The Skonda and the STRV share a 2.2 second aim time as well. Accuracy on all these tanks is very close. The Poodle, the VK, and the STRV have a joint 0.34 accuracy, followed by the Skonda with a 0.35, and lastly we have the Thunderbolt of a 0.36. The depression goes to the Thunderbolt with 10 degrees, followed by the Poodle and the VK 
with 8 degrees. And lastly, we have the Skonda and the STRV with the joint 6 degrees of depression. Moving on to mobility, the Poodle and the VK have the best forward speed, the best top speed of 55 kilometers forward, followed by the Skonda of 50 and then the STRV of 45. And lastly, we have the Thunderbolt that has a 42. Also, a quick note would be the reverse speed. The Poodle, the Skonda, the STRV, and the VK have a joint 20 kilometers reverse, which is pretty good. The Thunderbolt has the worst reverse speed of 18. Now, when it comes to ramming, the Poodle is the tank for you. It weighs 44 tons, followed by the VK at 42. Then we have the Skonda at 39, the Thunderbolt at 37 tons, and the STRV at 25 tons. But in order to get those rams and get that damage, you're going to need some engine power. And we're going to look at the power to weight ratios. The Skonda has the best power to weight ratio of 17.5, followed by the VK, which has a 16.6, followed by the Poodle, which has 15.8. Then we have the Thunderbolt at 13.5, and lastly, we have the STRV at 13.2. Let's go ahead and move on to the armor and hit points in this comparison. The hull armor of the Poodle is on the front 85, on the sides 50, and at the rear 40. The turret has 100 on the front, 45 on the sides, and 45 on the rear. The only tank in this comparison to have better armor would be the Thunderbolt. It has 123.5 millimeters on the front of the hull, and that is the only place and the only tank to beat the Poodle when it comes to protection and armor. Let's go ahead and look at the hit points. The Poodle has 840, which is a joint best with the VK, followed by the Thunderbolt, which has 750, and lastly, we have the Skonda and the STRV with 700 hit points, meaning that the Poodle and the VK can take the most damage. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the Poodle has the best armor all around in this comparison. Now, as far as equipment goes, I would recommend the medium gun rammer. I would recommend ventilation, and I would recommend the coated optics to help give that extra view range to help increase your DPM which is what the medium tank here is all about. Now when it comes to the crew, of course we have a five personnel crew. We have a commander, a gunner, driver, a radioman, and a loader, which will give you a nice crew trainer here, as this is obviously a premium tank, and it'll train up that crew very quickly, also make you those credits and XP very quickly. The crew skills would be basically a standard medium tank crew skills, uh, so firstly, you can either have repairs, as that is good to have, or you can have brothers in arms. Let's talk about the play style of the Poodle here. It is a medium tank. It is a heavy medium tank, as it is 44 tons. It also has a decent rate of fire, um, and it can take a shot or two, as the armor is somewhat durable for a medium tank. So with this, this is going to be the medium tank to basically be the second line. This tank will be behind the heavy tanks or taking a flank with the help of some other medium tanks. This tank is going to be up in the fight. Now with that said, I would not be out in the open trying to deflect shots with it as that is not what this tank is about. This is a flanker. This is a somewhat slower medium tank, although it does have a good top speed the acceleration is a tad bit sluggish. So with that said, you can go ahead and circle uh, heavy tanks, but I would not advise trying to circle medium tanks or light tanks or even some tank destroyers as they will probably be able to out traverse you and uh, get that ink on you and that shot put into your side. So what, like I said, this is one of those tanks that you can go ahead and be somewhat aggressive with. It does have the armor for it. It does have the um, acceptable speed to get into positions. It is not a super fast medium like say a Cromwell or something like that that can go ahead and basically run uh, rings around the map. That is not this tank. However, it can follow behind that Cromwell and add some very, very much needed firepower to help that Cromwell out. And also it, it can go ahead and deflect shots and bounce shots as the side of the hull on this tank is 50 millimeters thick, which means 
angled properly, this tank can actually bounce quite a few shells, including 122 millimeter uh, Soviet tank guns, if angled properly. Big emphasis on the if there. <laughs> now quickly, let's look at the price point. And for this, I will be using the basic bundle, which is $18.99, as that is what I would recommend to get unless you just have uh, $30 basically burning a hole in your pocket. Because after all, this tank is very, very similar to the VK3002, which is already in the game, and it is free. You can grind your way to it. It is a tier six German medium tank. This tank is almost identical except for an appearance and a slight uh, power to weight ratio. The VK has a slight power to weight ratio buff over this tank, but it's not that substantial. So for $18.99, which is the price of the Poodle, you could either get the Skonda T40, you could get the STRV. Now with that said, it all depends on your playstyle. If you're looking for something to basically unload a ton of damage into a target very quickly, I would recommend the STRV. If you're looking for something that is more of a hard hitting um, poke out fire gun and back up, I would probably recommend the T40. But if you're looking for a good all around uh, medium tank that can take a shot or two and has the hit points to uh, absorb most of the fire that will be coming your way, I would highly recommend the Poodle. Also, this tank is the only Polish tank in the game. After all, that Polish line is on the way, so you can go ahead and train up your crews. Alternatively, if you go ahead and purchase the loaded bundle, the ultimate bundle, or of course the uh, Poodle Arrives bundle, then you get that zero point crew, which is fantastic, but personally, I would still recommend just the 1899, because after all, this tank pretty much is already in the game, and this is basically just a reskin of a tank you can grind out in the game. So with that said guys, that is my review and my guide of the Poodle, the Polish Tier 6 Premium Tank. I would recommend this tank if you're looking at uh, maybe getting that Polish line. Um, if not, then I would say hold off on this one as you can basically have this tank and all of its performance for free if you decide to grind out that German medium line. But it is a nice addition to the game to have a Polish tank enter, enter into it. It is nice to play a tier 6 medium tank that can make you additional credits, training, and uh, XP. Also, this tank, like I mentioned earlier, is the only Polish game. So it is kind of somewhat exclusive at this point as being the only Polish tank. But with that said, guys, I am F8 Alpha, and I will catch you guys next time.